It's the show that magicians around the globe don't want you to see. The Masked Magician is back, out of hiding, daring to expose the world's most highly guarded secrets. You'll find out how they perform amazing appearances, death-defying escapes, baffling levitations, astounding vanishes, mind-blowing sleight of hand, and impossible illusions. No magician is too famous. No trick too big. No secret too sacred. The Magician's Code will be forever broken on Magic's biggest secrets finally revealed. Magician pulls back the curtain and exposes the incredible secrets to vanishing a motorcycle in midair. Conjuring spirits from beyond the grave. Plus, making a five-ton commando vehicle appear from nowhere. And much more. Right now, on Magic's Biggest Secrets Finally Revealed. A 1,200cc motorcycle. A fuel-efficient mode of transportation, but you can bet that the magician isn't planning to get the motor running and head out on the highway. He's got something more mysterious up his sleeve. Besides, he's not even wearing a helmet. And with the price of gas, why travel when you've got no place to go? I'm sure this is part of his first trick. His gorgeous assistants enter, and the magician pulls open a curtain to reveal a stainless steel cage. Curiously, it looks like it's just big enough to contain the cycle. Maybe he's going someplace after all. Guess so. He revs the engine and drives the bike into position. Hmm, sooner or later. As I expected, he wheels up a small ramp and into the cage. So predictable. A puff of smoke, a magical wave, and the cage begins to rise high above the floor. The only place he's going is up. Fireworks flash, the cage springs open, presto! The motorcycle and the magician vanish in midair. Where did he go? Don't worry, he's right here. And of course, his beautiful girls are not far behind. The masked magician has fooled us again. How did the magician make his 1,200cc motorcycle disappear in midair and then manage to reappear down on the stage below? The secrets might surprise you. The motorcycle is real and weighs over 500 pounds. The first secret happens before the magician even starts up the bike. After the magician draws our attention to the cycle and opens the curtain to reveal the cage, this is when the first deception takes place. Hiding behind the curtain is a double, waiting patiently to pull the old switcheroo. Did you see it? That's the double pulling open the curtain as the magician is dashing away to hide backstage. Pretty tricky. Meanwhile, having mastered the magician's walk and movements, the double saddles up. It'll be his job to start the bike and ride it into the cage so it can be lifted high above the stage. When the fireworks flash and the cycle disappears, the double goes along with it. That's the next secret. Inside, the cage is equipped with black roller shades that are held in place by a simple release system and triggered by a black cord. At the start of the illusion, the shades are up, 
allowing the audience to see through the cage. When the cord is pulled, the shades fall into place, hiding the cycle from view and creating the illusion that the cage is suddenly empty. Here's how it looks from inside. The shade drops, and now from the front it appears as though you can see straight through the shiny cage to the black backdrop. See? The black shade creates the illusion that we're looking at the backdrop. But why don't the motorcycle and the double come crashing to the ground when the cage opens? Here's another secret. Inside the cage is a secret platform that is really holding the bike and its rider. The part of the cage that flips down is merely an outer shell that makes it look like the entire bottom has dropped out of the magic business. At the same time he releases the black shade in the phony cage, the double simply ducks down out of sight. This happens at the same moment the audience is temporarily blinded by the flashing fireworks. Now all the magician has to do is wait for the stunned audience to gasp and make his dramatic reappearance. Sometimes magicians ride back in on a duplicate motorcycle or show up somewhere in the audience. No matter how they reappear, this is always how it's done. Simple, when you know the secrets. The magician will now take us on a little fishing expedition using a deck of cards and a volunteer. In this case, one of his assistants. Remember, there are no camera tricks. He asks her to pick a card at random. She does, takes a look, and shows it to the camera. Ten of diamonds. Well, diamonds are a girl's best friend. He tells her to place the card back into the deck anywhere she'd like. Again, she willingly complies. Gotta love that. The magician now mixes up the deck to be sure that her chosen card isn't going to be easy to find. He drops the cards into a top hat to further confuse the issue. Next, he displays a length of rope. He asks her to give it a good tug to prove it's real. He drops the end of the rope into the hat, hoping to lasso the card by magic. No dice, cowboy. Give it another shot. That's over, too. Try again, mass man. This time, he asks for a little help. Cute. Well, what do you know? He did tie one on. A card, that is. Could it be? It is the Ten of Diamonds, bound for glory. So how did the magician manage to lasso the lady's card with the piece of rope? If you said by magic, you haven't been paying attention. The first secret begins with a deck of cards. He shows us the back, but never the faces. Why? Because this deck contains 52 of the same exact card, the 10 of diamonds. So no matter which card she picks, she'll always have the same card. Pretty sneaky. He allows his volunteer to select any card. She selects the card, and he makes a show of turning around so he can't see it. Of course, he already knows what it is. He asks her to put the card back. Once again, it doesn't matter where. He drops the cards into the hat. Notice from this angle, the girl would be able to see the faces. When performing it for a random volunteer, it's imperative to only show the backs. The next secret is hidden inside the hat. A ten of diamonds tied to a short piece of trick rope. The two pieces of rope are gimmicked with powerful magnets concealed in the ends. When the magician lowers the long piece of rope into the hat, it attaches to the short piece, and up comes the card. The magnets are of opposite power, so they attract, and he can lift the card. Look again. Opposites attract. And that's how to fish for a card. Up next, the secrets to flipping a shackled woman head over heels by magic. The impossible levitation that street magicians don't want exposed. Plus, making a five-ton military vehicle appear from out of the blue. And much more. Here's an updated twist on a trick that's been seen at kids' birthday parties and in toy store magic sets for years. 
It involves a balloon and this metal cylinder. The magician demonstrates that the cylinder is empty and appears to be free from magical gimmicks. He carefully slides the cylinder over the balloon so that the balloon is secured inside. Next, he takes an ordinary pencil and, as if by magic, he pokes it through a hole in the cylinder directly into the balloon. Scratch that, through the balloon. The balloon doesn't break and it looks impressive, but we've seen this before. Now to up the ante. The magician takes a second pencil and as if you hadn't thought of it, drives this one straight through the balloon from the other side. Now the balloon is trapped in the tube, held in place by the crisscrossing pencils, and it still hasn't popped. Before this illusion defies any more logic, the magician carefully removes the pencils. First one, and then, with a bit more difficulty, the other. Ah, there it is. He slides the balloon out of the metal cylinder. It's still in perfect shape, and the tube is still empty. Another mind-boggling illusion, courtesy of the masked magician. But he's always willing to show you how it's done. The magician begins by showing the balloon and the metal tube that has been pre-drilled to accommodate the two pencils. Other than that, neither the cylinder nor the balloon have been gimmicked in any way. This trick relies on practice, strong nerves, and a healthy dose of sleight of hand. Prior to the start of the trick, the magician secretly twists the center of the balloon, creating a narrow section in the middle. He covers this part of the balloon with his hand. When he slides the tube over the balloon, he's careful to slide his hand down at the same time, so the tube covers the twist. This twisted section will allow just enough space for the two pencils to pass through the holes without puncturing the balloon. Without the magician's hand covering the action, you can clearly see the twist as it enters the tube and is lined up with the pre-drilled holes. When hidden by the cylinder, the pencils have enough room to squeak by the twist without damaging the balloon. After he removes the pencils, the magician secretly untwists the balloon, then slides it out of the metal tube, unharmed. Another brain teaser that is simple, once you know the secret. The magician is eager to show off his latest addition to the warehouse. This tall cabinet looks harmless enough. Wonder what it does. He walks all the way around the box to show that there's nothing unusual going on. Yet. But watch. He lifts the roller shade that covers the front of the cabinet and shows us that there is nothing or no one inside. Again, I say, yet. On cue, one of his assistants enters. Gee, I wonder where she's going. Just as I thought, right into the box. His other assistants enter and open up the doors on the sides of the cabinet. They step inside, but only to secure the girl inside the box with heavy leather straps. Guess he doesn't want her to become the girl that got away. Next, they secure her wrists. To make sure she isn't leaving, they fasten padlocks to the straps. Thorough. Now for the ankles. By the time they are through, she will be locked up tight. She struggles with her restraints. Looks like they did a good job. One final cinch of the belt, and the assistants have completed their task. They close the side doors and leave the inside girl to fend for herself. She's scared but the magician shows no mercy and draws the roller shade. Whatever happens to her next will happen in the dark.
The three assistants give the box a spin, which means the girl inside is going for a spin too. Up goes the shade, and what's this? The girl has gone for a spin, but that's not what I had in mind. Bet being upside down is probably not what she had in mind either. She's still strapped and locked to the back wall of the cabinet. Down comes the shade, and the magician commands his assistants to give the box another spin. What's going to happen this time? The shade goes back up, and so did the girl. She's upright again and still secured to the back of the box. The masked magician has done it again, but there's got to be a secret. When the illusion begins, the girl steps into the box, gets padlocked to the back wall, goes for a spin, and ends up upside down. Another spin, and she's upright, terrified, but back on her feet. Here are the secrets. Those padlocks are real. However, here's the first secret. The straps are attached to the wall with Velcro, so she can easily pop her wrists free. Same with her ankles. First one, then the other. Simple as that. The belt around her waist is part of a bigger secret. It's firmly attached to a heavy metal pivot that spins in place. This plate is strong enough to support her entire body weight. While the other assistants are spinning the box, the girl inside is busy doing her own spin. After pulling the straps from the wall, she flips her body upside down with the help of the metal pivot, then does a handstand. Here it is again without the shade. She keeps her legs straight up in the air, and since the straps are still padlocked to her ankles and wrists, it appears as though she's locked to the back of the cabinet. Let's see the action again with the roller shade up and the camera traveling along with the rotation of the box. Since the waist belt is supporting her weight, the handstand isn't quite as difficult as it looks. The assistants spin the box a second time, and all the girl inside has to do is let her legs fall back down into place as her body revolves with the pivot. She holds her arms above her head and there you see her. The illusion is complete. And that's how it's done. Another secret has been revealed. Next, the astounding truth behind seances that summon spirits from another world. Plus, you won't believe the surprising method street magicians use to levitate without wires. And the incredible secrets to making a military utility vehicle appear from thin air. In the early part of the last century, the great Houdini spent much of his time debunking fake mediums and exposing phony seances. The magician is about to do the same thing. First, we'll start off with the seance. We begin with a large open cabinet made up of wooden columns. The magician's lovely assistants drop by to say hello, then raise a curtain sealing off the back of the cabinet the makings of a seance room. The magician displays a wooden chair, which goes on top of a square of plywood, eliminating the possibility of hidden trap doors in the floor. As the assistants seal off the remaining side with another curtain, the magician summons his gorgeous medium, though she impresses in a large way. She's not a real medium, but I don't care. The assistants return with some standard props, while the magician places his lovely medium in a trance. That didn't take too long. This girl is easily influenced. Now for the fun part. Using some heavy ropes, the magician secures the girl's wrists. And then invites his assistants to bind her to the chair. It 
takes a little choreography, but they get the job done. Working together to wind the rope around and around the girl, and then tying it off with a large impenetrable knot. Meanwhile, it looks like she's enjoying her trance. Now for the props. Just like in the days of Houdini, we have an ornate candelabra and a noisy tambourine. That ought to rattle the spirits. These are placed on top of the plywood. On the other side of the chair is an antique lamp, though in Houdini's day, this would be considered brand new. The lamp also goes on the plywood by the girl's feet and out of her reach. One final cross check to make sure she's still under the influence of his magic trance and the seance is about to begin. The magician instructs his assistants to raise the front curtain, completely surrounding the girl in the chair. Suddenly, the supernatural takes over. Hear the tambourine? The lights flicker, and a spirit appears to be lifting the lamp above the top of the enclosure. See how it floats through the air over the cabinet? I don't believe in ghosts, but this is pretty spooky. The magician commands his assistants to lower the front curtain. There's the girl, still tied to the chair and in her peaceful trance. The curtain goes back up to give the spirits a chance to return. The lights flicker. Now we hear the tambourine again and see the candelabra floating above the cabinet. There is definitely something otherworldly going on inside the seance room. There's no other way to explain it. The magician instructs his assistants to lower the curtain again. The girl is still tied to the chair with the props by her feet, exactly where they were before. At least these spirits are neat freaks. The magician commands the curtain to be raised again. We'll have one more chance for the medium to show her powers. Now a mysterious fog rises from the seance room. True, the girl was smoking hot, but this is a bit much. And she's gone. Escaped from her bonds and vanished into thin air, leaving only the props in the memory of her mystifying beauty. The remaining curtains are lowered just to see if there is anywhere for her to be hiding. But no, as we can see from all sides, she has without a doubt vanished. Without even saying goodbye or leaving her number. You're all alone, mass man. A stunning medium is tied to a chair inside a sealed seance room and strange things begin to happen. So how does the magician create the illusion of a seance and make the girl vanish in a puff of smoke? Here are the secrets. When the illusion begins, the magician makes a big show of proving that the room is empty. It's not. That's the first secret. From the back, we can see that the rear curtain is not resting flat on the floor. It's elevated on boxes. Beneath the curtain are some duplicate props and a fog machine. These long slender handles will be used to lift the props high above the top of the cabinet. Also hidden inside the room is this beautiful assistant who is crouching behind the square of plywood. When the first two assistants enter, they begin to raise the curtains and build the cabinet. As soon as the rear curtain is in place, the concealed assistant sneaks out and hides behind it. The magician is now free to pick up the plywood that was hiding her and place it on the floor with a chair on top. After the medium in the seance room is supposedly hypnotized and bound, the front curtain is raised. This is when the secret assistant behind the room rushes inside with the duplicate prop lamp. The lights flash to create the proper mood and the girl uses the long pole to lift the lamp above the top of the enclosure. Meanwhile, the girl in the chair snaps out of her pretend trance and starts to loosen her bonds. The secret assistant slips out of the back seconds before the front curtain is lowered to reveal that the medium is still in the chair. 
the curtain goes up a second time, and the secret assistant slips back inside with the next set of props. When you look closely, you can see the pole peeking out above the enclosure. She sneaks through the rear curtain again, vowing to be more careful next time. The front curtain is raised for a final time, and this is when the secret assistant turns on the electric smoke machine. At the same time, the girl in the chair is wriggling out of her bonds. Looks like she's had some practice. Once free, she sneaks out to join her friend on the floor behind the curtain. The front curtain is lowered to reveal the empty chair in the smoke-filled room. A mysterious sight indeed. When the rear curtain is lowered, it is carefully draped over the girls and their spare props. Here's how it looks from the back. Also a mysterious sight. A magical seance just like it was performed in the days of Houdini. But now, you know the devilish secrets. Thanks, girls. This wraps up another one. Next, the masked magician exposes the secrets to the levitation trick street magicians don't want you to know. Plus, making a military utility vehicle appear in an empty parking lot. Here's an illusion certain street magicians have used on TV to gain national attention. The magician is now ready to show off his freaky skills and blow your mind. Watch carefully as he prepares to summon every ounce of his magical abilities. Concentrate with him. Using only the power of his mind, the magician causes himself to rise up off of the floor. No wires, no hydraulic lifts, just extreme concentration and the power to cloud your mind. Truly freaky, or is it? So, how does the magician use his mind to make himself rise up into the air? He doesn't. The secret is hidden in his pants. His trouser leg is designed to break open so that he can step out of it. His shoe has also been cut so his foot can easily slip out undetected. From the back, it appears that the magician is rising up off the floor. But from this angle, we can see that he's merely stepping out of his rigged shoe and pant leg and up onto the first step. The shoe is attached inside the trousers, and his body blocks the view of his leg as he walks up onto the step. The illusion is convincing. To prevent the shoe from dangling in midair, it contains another secret. Small strips of black Velcro are attached to the inside edges of the heels. When he stands with his feet together and pretends to concentrate, he's really attaching his shoes together. When he removes his right leg from his pants, the right shoe will realistically rise in unison with the left. From the front, we can see that his left shoe is controlling the movement of the right, making it look like both feet are rising off the floor side by side. Nothing freaky or mind-blowing here, when you know the secret. The magician will now show us a trick that has a high level of shock value and requires a very brave assistant. Brave and beautiful, just how he likes him. He begins by taking a sewing needle from Grandma's pincushion. This one looks like it'll do the trick. He drops the needle into a wine glass and holds it out for us to examine. There it is. Now for the wine. Again, he makes sure we can see the needle in the glass. Then he tops it off with a little vino. He wipes the glass on the napkin, but he's not going to drink it. This is why he needs a brave assistant. She seems willing, almost too willing, to taste the grape. Remember, this is a dangerous trick and you shouldn't attempt it at home. The girl downs the wine and needle like a champ. She swallows without a struggle. The needle isn't inside the glass, so it must be inside of her. Next, the magician takes a spool of thread and unravels a length of it. The 
The girl gets her approval, so the magician breaks off a piece. It's hard to see, but there it is. An ordinary length of thread. He gathers the thread into a small wad and hands it to the girl. She balls it up with her fingertips and places the wad into her mouth, teasing it with her tongue. Instead of being horrified, it looks like she's really enjoying this. Obviously, the magician has tapped her dark side. Now he gets her to open up her vest and expose some flesh. So much for family television. Embedded in her stomach is the needle. A few careful tugs and we can see her pull it out with her fingertips along with the length of thread. Aside from the fact that this defies all laws of medical science, it still looks pretty cool. And there it is, the needle and thread ripped from the stomach of a beautiful girl who likes her wine. This is one trick that can drive anyone to drink. Okay, a needle, thread, and a deadly dose of wine. So how does the assistant survive the cocktail and live to pull the needle and thread out of her stomach? Given the fact that this could never happen, there has to be a secret to this gruesome illusion. Let's start with the needle. It's real and sharp, therefore the girl never lets it near her lips. The magician drops it into the glass, but it doesn't stay there for long. He adds some wine, then wipes it against the napkin before handing it to the brave girl. She drinks it willingly, knowing that she's not in any real danger. Why? When the magician wipes the glass on the napkin, he's not doing it to wipe off the spilled wine. Affixed to the back of the bottle is a powerful magnet. When he wipes the glass against the napkin, the powerful magnet attracts the needle, causing it to jump out of the glass and stick to the napkin. Here it is in slow motion. See it jump? Let's take another look without the napkin or the wine. The needle heads straight for the magnet. Since it's no longer in the glass, it's safe to hand the drink to the girl. But notice how the magician is carefully inspecting the glass just to be sure he's not endangering her. She drinks the wine, knowing that the needle is not inside the glass. And when it comes to the thread, she merely conceals it beneath her tongue. But what about the needle and thread she pulls from her stomach? The secret to this grisly illusion is even more elaborate. It looks real, but that's not her skin. Before the trick began, a special effects makeup artist used this jar of liquid latex to simulate skin. How's that for a bare canvas? When the latex is dry, it will be covered with makeup. See, it's barely visible. Next, a duplicate threaded needle is carefully inserted into the latex skin and everything gets covered by more makeup and her costume. When she lifts her vest to give us a peek, we see that the needle and thread are in place and ready to go. During the trick, she simply pulls the needle through the latex and the thread follows, giving the illusion that she's somehow managed to pull them from her stomach. Street magicians have convinced their audiences that this is an impromptu bit of real magical powers, but now we know the elaborate preparation involved. The recipe for magic is easy, when you know the secrets. Next, the magician exposes the secrets to creating an electrifying illusion. Plus, making a five-ton military vehicle appear from nowhere. Next, the magician has a trick that would even astound Thomas Edison. Using this unplugged lamp and Edison's pride and joy, a light bulb. As we can see, the light bulb is quite ordinary and unprepared. The magician applies a little magic, a wave here, a gesture there, and presto, the bulb begins to flicker. Well, he's certainly getting a charge out of this. Maybe the masked man's powers are more energizing than we thought. A simple 
but mind-boggling trick that's a sure way to light up a room. Okay, so how did the magician make the ordinary light bulb come to life? Here are the secrets. The light doesn't really come from the bulb at all. It comes from this little gadget, a small battery-powered flashing LED. When it's placed behind the bulb, it makes the bulb appear to light. When the illusion begins, the magician shows us that this is an ordinary bulb, and it is. What we don't see is the small LED gadget concealed in his right hand. He holds the bulb up and prepares to make it light. This is when he attaches the gadget to the back of the bulb with the help of some sticky adhesive. He presses a small switch to turn it on. From the front, it looks like the bulb is lighting with the help of his magical power. Once the audience has been fooled, he secretly removes the hidden gadget from the bulb and hides it in his hand. See? What sticks to the bulb also sticks to his thumb. He replaces the bulb in the lamp, and the illusion is complete. Shocking. Unless you know the secret. The magician will now attempt to demonstrate his magical powers in broad daylight in the vast emptiness of this vacant parking lot. He allows the camera to completely circle the lot for an unobstructed 360 degree view. There is nothing around as far as the eye can see. Now, let's watch for the magic. The magician seems to be walking to a specific spot in the lot. Let's see what he has in mind. There are no camera tricks. We can see that the lot around him is completely empty. His assistants raise a large sheet that is supported by two long rods, some magic gestures, and a military utility vehicle appears from nowhere. And what about those troops? Pretty impressive. This is an A-team if there ever was one. And they've appeared by magic. And if you're wondering, that isn't a cardboard cutout. That's a genuine five-ton vehicle, ready for action. And so are the girls. Nice work, masked man. Next. The unbelievable secrets behind making a five-ton commando vehicle appear from nowhere. We just saw the magician show off an empty parking lot with nothing around as far as the eye could see. His lovely assistants raised a sheet for a brief moment and presto, a five-ton military vehicle appeared from nowhere. So. How did the magician make the commando vehicle appear in the middle of the empty parking lot? As always, the secret involves misdirection and seeing only what the magician wants you to see. Before the illusion begins, the SUV, with the lovely assistants inside, drives into position at the far end of the parking lot and parks right out in the open. Next, the magician allows us a 360-degree view of the lot. Here's the first secret. The magician stands in the center of the camera shot, creating the illusion that we are seeing everything around and behind him. We can, until this moment when he blocks the left side of the frame. Directly behind him and way off in the distance, the vehicle is waiting for its appearance. The magician's position, in relation to the camera perspective, is the key to the success of this trick. As the magician begins to walk toward the camera in a perfectly straight line, the SUV begins its approach from behind. The path of the vehicle must be in the exact same line as the magician's. The speed is also critical. Aside from a safety standpoint, the SUV must maintain a consistent speed so that it will always be hidden from view by the magician. From this alternate camera angle, we can see the SUV as it simply drives in behind the magician while he blocks it from his camera. He commands his assistants to raise the sheet and steps to the side. When it's lowered, the vehicle is revealed to have magically appeared. Let's watch the action without the magician blocking our view. This life-size cutout represents where he stands in the frame. Here, we can see the SUV waiting to make its appearance. 
With the magician in the shot, we can't see the vehicle as it drives forward. But here it is with the cutout, quickly moving into place just seconds before the sheet is raised. When the sheet is lowered, the appearance seems impossible. But we know how he did it. All that's left is for the camera to show us the backside of the truck and the girls, and we suddenly believe in magical things. Good trick, masked man. But now we know your secrets. Next time, the masked magician returns to reveal more of magic's biggest secrets. Next tonight, join the officers as they continue their battle on drug crime in cops with cameras. And later at 10, there's a shock in store for our favourite serial killer when Dexter learns the man who killed his mother is still alive.